Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to a new video. Haven't been playing much and I haven't been uploading much, but uh, well, this month's pretty interesting because it's the Baby Lugia suspect test, or rather, it's the Baby XT001 suspect test. Um, personally, I thought it was pretty broken, but after I used it, um, I might have a change of op opinion. Um, at the beginning of the season, I was using a Scar- oh, sorry, Specs and Fugia. Um, and that, that was pretty decent, it hits pretty hard. But eventually, uh, for this team, uh, I changed it to a Scar Fugia, which might be surprising for some people. Um, because that isn't something that most people think of, but... Uh, Scar Fugia, in my opinion, is honestly pretty decent. Um, it's got Trick as a pretty powerful tool, just like Specs. However, you'll be able to revenge kill a lot of things that Scarf Lugia cannot touch. And people often say like Lugia is super bulky and stuff. But I honestly don't think it's really that bulky if you get the multi-skill broken. Um, anything like kills it pretty well, yeah. So this is now my new option. Uh, this seems pretty good. I, I wasn't keeping track of record, um, but I did very well with this team before well, I changed some movesets and stuff, but before I had uh, Specs, and it wasn't doing so well, but after Scarf, like putting on Scarf onto it, um, it kind of held the team together. I don't really know how to say it, but um, let's, uh, I'll start by, uh, well, just killing a game up, um, and uh, I don't know, we'll see. Right now we are uh, second on ladder. As, uh, as you can see here, um, with a 70% win rate, something that I'm not really proud of. But it's also partially because of the bad start um, I had in the season. Uh, when this team had the same mons but different movesets, uh, LXM had Energy Ball instead of uh, HP Ice. Uh, which HP Ice, I'm not even sure if it's the best moveset here because it's not really doing too much. Um, Horn is just Horn. Rocking at 13 speed, which is very sad. Uh, Lugia, Shadow Storm, Ice Beam, Roost, and Trick. I am thinking about replacing Roost with something like uh, Roar, Whirlwind, or Dragon Tail. Something like that. Um, as Roost is not really that useful. Um, Shadow Storm, well, just does what it does. And Ice Beam is pretty decent for uh, hitting set up Dragonite, which this team doesn't really do well with. Um, and uh, Extra Drill, Earthquake, Iron Head, Toxic, and Rapid Spin. Um, pretty solid, Spud F, Extra Drill is one of my favorite new uh, Pokemons. Um, not having Stealth Rack listing, it's kind of sad. But Iron Head is a must, or you'll get swept by CM Clef. Um, Pearl Thorn with Rocks, with Leaf Seed and Thunder Wave, um, which is uh, well, pr pretty good. Um, Thunder Wave is pretty useful, and uh, yeah. And lastly, we have uh, Caldeo, so Skull, Hydro Pump, Icy Wind, and Secret Sword, um, just the usual. Uh, this seems pretty decent. Um, some threats to look out for is like set of Pokemons, especially uh, like Volcarona. Um, that thing is uh, is a threat. Another thing is uh, Mega Latias. I personally lost to uh, Scyther twice just just because of the Me Mega Latias. Um, once a combine's up, you can't really stop it. Uh, I mean, I could go extra and toxic it, but that's about it. Um, that's the best I can do, and he could avoid that if he wants. Um, yeah, so that, those are kind of the two main things that I need to look out for. Something like Lopni is, is kind of bothersome too, but it's manageable. So uh, I'm just gonna skip till when I find a match, as I'm not sure if anyone's queuing right now. Okay, so we finally followed the match. Here, um, well, he is one rated, so might not expect too much out of this. But let's leave extra show here. Um, if he leads Yancey, we could just earthquake and kill it. Uh, and if he leads like Rotom Wash, we could still earthquake, and uh, we could like rocks on the other stuff too. So, well, not rocks, we can't really rocks. I forgot <laughs> I don't have rocks on this thing, but anyways, I consider this a pretty good lead. Um, okay, he has he leads Feral Thorn, which is uh. A bit bothersome, um, so we'll have to switch here. Let's go into uh, Pearl Thorn and throw up my own racks as his Deon is not make out yet. 
as he goes for lead seed for some reason. Um, definitely a bad play on his part, not for trying to put up hazards. As he goes, probably also for okay, he goes for spikes, which is understandable. Um, so let's go into a uh, torn here. Hopefully he doesn't go do something crazy like a uh, gyro ball my feral torn or something. As he goes for another layer of spikes, so that is fine. Um, we can just get a heat wave off. He might choose to go a uh, wash, but he doesn't, which is also fine. He just stays in and goes for a lead seed. So right here, um, I'm just gonna try and U-turn out. He's either gonna sit, uh, protect or go wash, right? Yeah, he go he goes for protect here. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's fine. I am probably just gonna try and keep him honest here and just go for heat wave. Um, if he goes wash, it's not the worst thing in the world because. And he goes superior for some reason, so that's a uh, that's a pretty pretty cra crazy dumb play right there. But yeah, so like regardless, even if he uh, even if he goes wash there, I was just going to U-turn into drill and spin. Uh, Hydro pump will not kill me, and I I really don't care if he wisps me. So I mean, I guess I could it could be bothersome for the Deonzi, but and now he goes with Rotom wash for no fucking reason. Um, so, uh, I guess we'll just get a free spin off, so this is really nice. Or we can even just Earthquake away, um, however, I doubt that will kill Rotom, so... Don't think it's, uh, maybe, maybe I'll Earthquake first, because he can't, he can't, like, uh, what's that called? He cannot... He can only Willow us for Hydro Pump, right? So, I, I would rather get the damage off first, and kill this, even. So, uh, that's pretty nice. Um, now, Needle King should come in, or, uh, well, maybe not Needle King if he's expecting me to be faster and stuff, so it's probably going to be a, a Superior or something, or Deonzi, that's, that's good too. Um, and I could, I think I can just try and, uh, try and pick up this KO right here, so uh, maybe I don't really need to defog this match at all, given that he already, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, sorry. I don't really need to spend this match given a lot of his mods are already dead, so let's just go for an Iron Hand to pick this up. Uh, you could say he probably stays in and go for Earth Power if he went to this thing, um, but we do live that pretty pretty well. Um, so he, he's just switching around for no reason. Uh, which is, he probably predicts, I don't know what he's predicting. My Feral Thorn or something? Probably. And so uh, let's just go for a EQ, as he probably lead seeds. So we can, we can uh, just EQ here and get some chip as he goes for another layer of spikes, uh, which is fine. I'm just gonna earthquake again, honestly. And uh, if he leads these here, oh, well, he goes for that. A bit annoying. Not the worst thing in the world. Um, I don't really mind. Yeah, he goes for seeds. Um, that's fine. Because uh, he's going to get some health back. And, uh, let's try and spin here. He goes for protect. Which is okay. I don't really know what he's going to go for here. Probably just spikes. But you never know. Um, and uh, I'm free from the both the seeds and spikes are gone. Which is nice. As he goes for whip. Okay, that's 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 fine. Um, and now I think uh, I will just go into my uh, Torn here. So we got Protect, Spikes, Seed, and Whip. So, um, cannot touch Torn right here. Um, we can just go for Heat Wave pretty freely. Probably goes Muck, right? Or Needle King, for some reason. Doesn't really make sense, but that's okay. This goes for Heat Wave. Um, but it gets burnt, so pretty unlucky for him. I'm just gonna knock off here. Um, get the item off this thing. So it's not really as big of a threat. I could hurricane, but I think uh, pretty likely I'd miss, so. Because he goes for ice beam, um, that's fine. Thanks to the knockoff that is weakened. Um, and we can just U turn out here. And uh, go into something like uh, Caldeo and uh, click uh, Secret Sword here. Pretty nice. 
cool. And now his kind of only play, well, he could go Deansi or Superior. Um, either one's okay for him. But if he goes Herp, we're just going to go back into Torn and uh, U-turn out. So, this is fine. Um, Muck is a bit annoying, but at this point, he doesn't really have the tools to win. Um, too many of his mons are already dead. Ah, oh, it's this shit. So oh, everyone hates Glare Superior. It's, uh, it's the most broken piece of shit that ever exists. One Glare and, like, you're fucked, so... Um, okay, let's just go into Ferrothorn, um, and just whip, I think whip is always the, the play, um, yeah, this is kind of awkward, he should go something like his own Ferrothorn, well, that's guaranteed, um, but after he, he goes his Ferrothorn, kind of, kind of puts me in an awkward spot, um, though not really, yeah, because I could, I, I think I would just go hard Kelio if he does decide to go to his Fertile Thorn. He chooses to go to Muck, which is also also okay. Um, we also need Chip on this thing. And uh, it's probably just going to be a Fire Punch coming out on his part. I don't really mind Baby Lugia getting knocked off. Like, if his Serp was way healthier, then I would not have went to Lugia, but now that... And Serp is pretty much dead. Uh, going through this thing, I think it's okay. Um, gunk shots, which is okay. Doesn't really matter. We have sneaky clicks up here, but it doesn't really matter. We go to Caldeo and uh, pick up a kill here. And now Muck has chipped, which means because uh, I'm so also pretty free. Um, so that's that's really nice. Yeah, because I'm just wins at this point if we can hit a uh, focus blast. Now he should go back to Deancy, but it doesn't really matter, or Serp, but it doesn't matter at this point. Alright, just go back to Horn, um, you turn out, back into Alakazam. Glares, for no reason, again. That's the problem with uh, Glare Superior users, they just glare your whole team and uh, you can win. Okay, the that shit is actually pretty annoying. Um, not gonna lie. I don't like that light screen. Um, but I guess it's fine. Let's just go Feral Thorn here. Um, like I just need a solid light screen to help, but that just makes the battle longer. That annoys me. Yeah, he surrenders. Cool. Okay, so we've only found another match here. Um, this matchup, he's probably gonna lead Wash, so I'm just gonna lead Torn and, uh, and turn and knock off here. Otherwise, uh, Caldeo looks really good here for sure. Um, we can somehow deal with the Slowbro. Getting rocks up is a it's a pretty big priority. As you get as he tricks, which is uh, really annoying here, but not the worst thing in the universe. He's probably gonna Volt Switch, right? So uh, let's just stay in and take this Volt Switch and just go for another uh, another knockoff here. Let's see if we can uh, take a, like maybe Chansey's item. Although I highly doubt he will Volt Switch in July. Wait, n wait, 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 never mind. I think I'm faster now, right? Shit, let's cancel this. Um, yeah, I think I'm faster now, so <laughs> that's not good. So now let's just go into a Feral Thorn, or else I'll just be taking unnecessary damage. Well, thank God that cancel button's now a thing. <laughs> but anyways, he just switches out into uh, Scizor. Uh, this one is uh, a bit concerning for my team, but I think uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I will just go for rocks here. I will hate this if this is SD superpower or some shit. SD comes out. That's expected. Uh, let's see. So he goes... We just go for rocks. Um, okay, this could be a pretty bad position to be in. Uh, he should just SD again, right? So uh, that's why I kind of want roar or something on on baby. Uh, it's a bit too late just to talk about that. Anyways, so uh, 
I think the play here is just go. It's just just a uh, maybe Sackless. Yeah, let's just go for uh, Thunder Wave or some shit. As he goes for another SD. So not fantastic, but I do have faith that Kelly will live. Say uh, plus four Bullet Punch from Scizor, and that is what I'm gonna place my bet on. Yeah. So let's see if he if he's adamant. And uh, plus six. Yeah, we do live it. So that's what I'm gonna um, put my bet on. And we also got the paralysis, which is good. Uh, and if Caldeo doesn't kill, baby, baby can always uh, come in afterwards. Um, okay. So who is the most, uh, the least important member here? I think. You know what? For now, I'm just gonna sack the torn because if he, if he, get, if he gets paralyzed, we might even get, be able to like get a heat wave off. Okay, that is a really dumb play. If he's gonna set up all that much, just quick U-turn. That is a very stupid play. Um, if he doesn't have super power, I, I completely disagree with, with all his setup, because it was pretty useless. But, that's fine then. So I, I was just worrying for nothing, I guess. Okay, well, this comes in... Well, I don't really know what this is, but... I don't mind just sacking my Torn to, uh, to see what happens. Like, to see what happens. Just to scout his item. Uh, if he quick attacks, I sure, I die, but I do get in... Kelly or something, and that is very valuable. But so let's just go for a. Uh, I want to go for a Hurricane. Let's just go for a Hurricane here. Get some damage onto the. Well, fuck this. I I guess we're not getting any damage onto it, but that's fine. Um, and uh, this is really annoying because else this would be at like thirty percent, and uh, that would be such a good position for me. But that's fine, I guess. So there's Scald here, um, let's see if we can get the burn on Solbro. We deserve it, honestly, um, but we'll see. Yep, nice burn, and a crit too. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, we totally deserve that. And now Solbro's at 34%, so we might even go go for a, a kill here. So Scald, if he's like not really defensive, does, all, does that much. Well, sorry, very defensive does that much. But if he is no defense, we have a chance to kill. Um, okay, so let, let, let's do some math here. Comes in at 88, so 12%. Um, the, the last skull with the crit... Okay, burn is 6, so that's 18. Uh, that skull with the crit does... So 34 minus... 100 minus 18 minus 34. What is that? 72. 72 minus 34. Um, that is 38, 17 minus 34, yeah, 38. So 38 divided by 1.5, so this won't kill. So let's, uh, let's just switch out here. Um, let's go into Kazam here. And, uh, and he switches. Not sure why, but he does. And, uh, that's fine. At least, uh, for me. I'm just gonna go back, go go into extra here. Uh, we click toxic and then go for spin or something. Something tosses completely fine. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go for an earthquake in case he wants to be greedy and goes into slow bro to try and heal some shit up. We don't want him to be uh, greedy. But anyways, baby is baby is really annoying now, especially if it's uh, mind. If it's uh, well, I okay either specs or mind, they're both annoying as hell. So. Something we need to be careful of. But now Kelio has no switch ins pretty much. Well, Chansey can switch in, but we need to get the play right. So brothers come in. We just don't want this to uh to, to heal up here. So that's why we're just gonna go for a earthquake. In my opinion, scissors is the play, but that's fine. Um And uh, we're just gonna keep him honest and just go for another earthquake. Uh Diggersby, now that Diggersby we know it's a uh What's it? A scarf? Sorry, a non-scarf one. I think it's banded. We can just trick the trick the scarf away from Lukia, because I I don't think it's all that important now. But if we can hit the Chansey or something, fantastic. Um, yeah. He goes into Baby. Baby is annoying. We're gonna we're gonna toxic this thing. If he switches his hard in, I I am inclined to believe that he is Specs. Yeah, well, I meant not specs, but 
Apparently, I think he is next. Goes for Shadow Storm. Uh, this will do a pretty decent amount, but we do get our damage. We do get our Toxic onto Baby, and I think that's the the, uh, the most important thing here. Um, and we can go into our own. Uh, so we don't really take too much damage. Yep, he attacks us with Shadow Storm. And, uh, that's good. And I'm just gonna go for a Ice Beam here. Um, but he does switch into Chansey, which is a bit annoying, but it is uh, fine. And uh, we could just get in, well, Caldeo and click a Secret Start here, as uh, we pretty much have no switch in. If he's other waves or anything like that, it's gonna be annoying, but other than that, it's it's fine. Rox isn't very annoying though, um, I have to say, so. I'll see if I can try to find an opportunity to spin, but if not, we'll just have to uh, play with them up. If I can somehow take up this Chansey, it's a guaranteed win, um, just by uh, playing around with uh, Alakazam, I think. Cool. So, uh, Baby is now dead. Don't need to worry about that thing anymore. And, uh, that's, that's good. Yeah, so... Now my, my main goal is just to try and trick Chansey. And if I can do that, I'm pretty sure I would uh, definitely win this one. But he should slack off here, but I'm going to go into this thing. Let's see. Okay, he lives a Seismic Toss, so that's what I'm trying to aim. going to try and aim for here. I'm going to go for Blast first, um, just to hit the Scizor and the Chansey, but... Regardless, this is fine. Hopefully we do hit, because we would force a Roost here, if we hit. Um, and then we, if we don't, then uh, then he gets a free U-turn, so... Yeah, so we don't. Not the worst thing in the world. Could certainly be worse, but... It kind of sucks that we didn't force the... Uh, the, the Roost. Because that, that is really important. And we might even just 2-a KO this thing, you know? with uh, Focus Blast, so I don't even need to, uh, yeah, that's really annoying, whatever. So, fully paralyzed, fantastic, um, that's totally deserved, and now we just go for a uh, lead seat here, he goes for a roost, which is fine. And, uh, in my opinion, he has two plays here, either U-turn or, uh, SD. I'm just gonna, just gonna leech again, I think he should U-turn, but, uh, you never know, I guess. Because I really want to go something like Caldeo, but if he U-turns into Slowbro, that's going to be uh, super annoying. Yeah, he just switches. Cool. Okay. That's really nice. Chooses to go into uh, Chansey. And so we, we we just force a recovery here, so... And we can even go Drill and get health back. So uh, that's really nice. He can't really kill us, and uh, he has to recover, or else he's in some very deep trouble. Because if this goes down... Um, you know, Kaldeo is going to go crazy with Scald. Uh, Alakazam is also going to go crazy. Um, so either way, okay, he does. He chooses not to recover, so that's really brave. Um, and I, I probably could never do something like that. But this one's uh, so slowly but surely, he's going into a, a pretty bad spot here, and uh, we can just spend. I think, wait, let me count how much does Alakazam do to uh, Chansey. I think that is, uh, yeah, so Focus Blast is 29 to 34, and I think he might be in range of that. Alright, just spin this away. Scalds, doesn't really matter. I'm just going Alakazam and chasing the region here. If we can hit Focus Blast and kill the Chansey, I think, I think this one's over. Um, but let's just go for Shadow Ball here. Uh, should probably go Scizor. I think that's always his play. We could maybe sack a Digger's Beers and shit. Yeah. I mean, this game is pretty pretty reliant on well hitting a couple of Focus Blasts, but I guess that is uh, that is how it is. How much does Kelio's Skull do to this thing though? Okay, it doesn't well it doesn't kill Chansey, but Hydro Pump. I don't know, might have a chance. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so this is really awkward. We just need to hit the blast. 
and uh, that would be really good. Or does does uh, Digger's Beak? Okay, let's calc if Digger's Beak is quick attack, kills me first. So no, does a shit ton, but no. Um, Alakazam Psychic doesn't kill it back. I don't think. Yeah, he's too. He's way too healthy. Um, Energy Ball, if we had it, it would be fine. But let's just go for Blast then. Please hit. Nice. Cool. I mean, we deserve to hit this, given that we missed the Scizor. So, can't even complain. And uh, now we just go into Keldia here. Um, if he goes Slowbro, we just go back to, uh, to Kazam, trace the region, and, uh, you know, Riz and Repeat. Something like this. But. Yeah. Cool. U turns? That's fine. Cannot go. He cannot go Chansey. He can go Wash though, but that is still, still okay. Um, no, go slow, bro. Which is fine. As long as if this isn't like Thunder Wave or something. And even if it is, you can always uh, j just trace Natural Cure or some shit. So uh, let's just go back to uh, Kazam here. And the Scissor is also in a pretty, pre pretty tight spot here. It needs to be afraid of the Thunder Wave, right? And so maybe it cannot roost when it wants to, and it also needs to be uh, afraid of um, just coming in and taking rocks and stuff. We're going to click focus pass here. This snowball cannot do anything to me. Um, Eels Chansey. It's fine. So uh, yes, normally focus pass won't kill this, but maybe it does here. Yeah, okay, it does. Cool. Now uh, Scald is really free. Um, well, everything's probably free right now. Okay, so back out. Alcatan back to full health. Just uh, positioning. And uh, he cannot really U-turn because now Shadow Ball will, uh, will destroy him too. Let's just go for a uh, Hydro Pump here. Let's see, probably goes into uh, Slowbro. Uh, this will hit it pretty, pretty, pretty hard. So um, that's what we're aiming for. Cool. Yeah, it's a it's a two hit KO I think. We're not gonna stay in. More than likely he's gonna go wash here. And even if he does stay in, he's forced to recover. But to which we can just fire off a shadow ball follow up. Don't really want to uh, risk missing there. And now we can just go for a shadow ball. Uh, Scizor can switch in, but not well. We don't really mind that. He's, uh, yeah, in some pretty deep trouble. And now we just go back to Kaldeo. So if he U turns out, he just dies to shoot two Shadow Balls in the future. And yeah, he always has that chance of just getting paralyzed. And uh, if he Roost, then uh, puts him into an awkward spot again. Cool. So, same play. We don't really want to miss Hydro Pump here. Just go back to Kazam, trace the regen, and uh, click Shadow Ball. Right. Okay, doubles, which is fine. Um, and uh, Psychic probably just. I don't know. I don't think Psychic. Maybe Psychic doesn't kill. Yeah, it doesn't. Barely, though. Um, does defog, so that is something he could play for, but now that there's no uh, rocks, but we can always just put them back up against the Silbro. Flamethrower doesn't kill us, so uh, it's really nice. Um, and uh, right now, I'm just going to go into my uh, my Feral Thorn here. Don't really know. Hmm. And I think I just leech and then go hard into uh, Kelio, because uh, SD Scissor can be a bit scary here. It should be fine. He could U-turn. U-turn would be uh, unfortunate. But still okay. SDs again, okay. So he's trying to go for game, I guess. But we just called. Even though I don't think it will kill him, but he won't kill me either. And uh, it still puts him in a pretty awkward spot, I think. Yeah. And he has that Thunder Wave chance too, so. Even if this somehow, I don't know, kills me, that is definitely not the play. He has to stay in and play, play for that. That is his only way out. 
because Slowbro gets two with KO'd, and um, yeah, this is this is this is just over. And, Scissor comes back in, just called. Yeah. The crit, got pretty lucky there, but doesn't really matter. He can keep roosting, but he's gonna run out eventually, and uh, Paralysis is gonna get you him, so. Cool, GG's. <clears throat> okay, so we found the same guy again. Um, depending on the situation, this might be the last match I pay, play for today, but we will see. Um, so, uh, right here, Hurricane's coming out for sure. Um, I honestly don't know what to do here. This is kind of awkward. I could get, go get... Uh, let's, let's just go get... Uh, sorry, not go get, but go to Tornadus. And, um, uh, eat this hurricane, I guess. Oh, wait, no guard makes both sides hit. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'm so, so fucking stupid, honestly. Anyways, uh, this arrow probably has earthquake, right? Because it's like rocks, taunt, edge. I'm giving last one's earthquake. But I'm just gonna U turn. Honestly, this is. Mm, if he's stolen edge here, that's gonna put me in a very bad spot. Well, not a very bad spot, because I really don't need this. But I just really want to break his sash, so uh, he can't be, like, annoying. Yeah, it's probably not a bad... Uh, sorry, it's not probably not a good play. Uh, if, I, uh, if I just... Wait, does Alakazam, Oko, and Aerodactyl? That's something I'm interested in. No, okay. You know what? We will just... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna go Drill. Okay, I think this is uh, this is the plan. Maybe okay, he just rocks. So maybe, just maybe, he doesn't have. Um, earthquake. But I want to spin. He does have earthquake. Okay, that's not fantastic, to say the least. But we will spin, and uh, get that measly. Fucking zero percent damage off. Cool. We just keep spending. You can you can keep rocking. We'll keep spending, and eventually we'll get in Alakazam and uh, hopefully kill this thing. Cool. I'm just gonna keep spinning here and uh, get some health back in the process. So he could try and kill me. Um. You know, we'll, we'll we'll make the same play again. Rocks, fine. Doesn't really matter. Cool. Spin again. Okay, so now he's definitely in like Alakazam range or some shit. Um, that's fine. The bishop is annoying though, and the Mimikyu. Those are my uh, two biggest uh, threats. Okay, do not know why he went for this. Like, why don't he just fucking go for <laughs> Earthquake with Aerodactyl? I don't think Shadow Claw kills me. Okay, Drain Punch will probably kill me. But, regardless, you get my point. That was a pretty, uh, pretty unnecessary play there. Anyways, you get this in. Just click U-turn here. Or you knock off, maybe. Not U-turn. U-turn's better. Because, yeah, if Arrow comes in. We can go uh, Alakazam, but regardless, you get my point. He took that life orb damage for no fucking reason, but I don't give a fuck, I guess. Okay, we could go for Focus Blast here if, uh, if we were fueling it. Am I fueling it? 69%? Yeah, 60, yeah. You know, 69%, so we're hitting this for sure. If I were him, I would probably just stay in. I don't think uh, Rox is worth uh, risking one of my Pokemons. At least that's what I think. But I don't really know. <sighs> Maybe Psychic is the better play. I just don't really. 
Well, maybe it's like a good stuff every play. Well, he's taking a. Uh, he's surely taking his time just thinking about this one. If he goes Mimikyu, holy fuck, that's gonna be annoying as hell. But if he, uh. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't go Mimikyu. Bisharp, nice. Please hit fucking hell for them. If we hit this, we're in a pr really, 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 really good spot. We just need to hit this, and uh, and uh, we're happy. Okay. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Holy shit. Okay. It's okay. Don't don't be like. Uh, yeah. We're not gonna be. We're not gonna be uh, greedy here. So we're not gonna stay in. He's probably gonna go for knockoff. If he's smart, he goes for knockoff, but... We're not gonna be, uh, impulsive. We're gonna be, uh, calm as a... I don't fucking know as a what, but... It's okay. This is, uh, unfortunate, but it's okay. We're gonna go Kalio here. He's thinking more than I am, and, um... We, I'm 99.5% sure we'd win this if he, if he, well, if we hit. Okay, so just, arrow comes in, so we're gonna get, we're just gonna give him free rocks. Yeah, that, that's all there is to it. Free rocks for him. Yeah, fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Nice hacks. This is fantastic. And now we're in a really, really disgustingly bad spot because we can't spin. Yeah, and this is in. So we we don't we we can't do jack shit. Yeah, this is really bad. Cause I can't go for all turn because he's just gonna hurricane into heat wave. Um this is a must keep. Right. No torn. I guess. This probably does more than like 33.3%. I think it does. Yeah. Well, and the crit too. I don't think the crit mattered though. But regardless, you get what I'm saying? Fucking hacks. And plus, this Pidgeot should never never outspeed mine, but because I'm fucking poor and uh and shit. It fucking outspeed me because, uh, yeah, really nice. This uh, pretty, it's fantastic. We need damage on this thing, so hopefully we do hit the, uh, what's that called, the, the, well, hopefully he stays in and lets, lets us hit him. So that's, that's what I meant. Because if, if we don't get damage on Pidgeot, um, we're, we're fucked. But the end game is definitely Baby Lugia and try and win that. Um, I'm not sure how possible that might be because rocks is up, but okay, psychic doesn't really matter. Um, we're switching for sure into uh, into feral one. Okay, so how this is going to play out is you're gonna go cold feral thorn, right? He's gonna sneak, hopefully. Uh, hopefully he doesn't go for something something crazy like I don't know, like hard heat turn right now, but he's gonna sneak or uh, even SD's kind of bad. Okay, regardless, you get my point. Probably, probably go, he'll just like, sneak. We set rocks, because he goes for the SD. We live the Drain Punch, and we fire him back with the Power Whip. Mimikyu dies, goes into like Heatran or some shit, or like, Breloom or some piece of crap. And then we Thunder Wave the Breloom. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out when we get there. It's too early to, uh, to be discussing about this shit. Okay, does sneak. Good. That's uh, that's that's part one, part one of our uh, goal. Hopefully he, uh, I don't know, maybe he switches out. He should switch out because if I jarble, he dies, and Dray Punch doesn't. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, this is a uh, this is not a good position, and it's all all thanks to that fucking miss on Bishop. That Bishop, it should be a four v four right now, 
and we would have never been in that position, you know, because it would be like Mimikyu versus uh, yeah, okay, goes Heatran. Well, Heatran's another Mon I really need to uh, look out for. I'm gonna go uh, Alakazam here, but hopefully he doesn't earn power some sh some shit like that. But Heatran is another Mon I really need to look out for, uh, ma mainly because um, it can stop Baby Lugia from from uh, sweeping. Eruption, nice, fantastic. Uh, Shadow Ball is always a play here. Probably gonna go uh, go Mimikyu, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, who the fuck's gonna go with Bisharp when... Yeah, that, that's Scarf Eruption, so... That is definitely a problem. That is definitely a problem. So, we're gonna keep this. Because, uh, if not for this Alakazam, the Heatran might just, uh, might just have won, so... Okay, and also, uh, this thing's really valuable because now, now, uh, Pidgeot's in, I think, Focus Blast and, uh, Psychic Range. So, if we can somehow get the Nogard, Trace Nogard, um, Focus Blast, uh, destroys his team, so we're definitely not risking the uh, Alex's M here. So uh, if he's smart, he knocks off here. Um, if, if he's dumb, then I don't know, he does something else. But because there's no way I'm gonna risk Alex's M. Anyways, let's calc this shit again because I I'm bad at memorizing things. Could you have Mega? Well, doesn't kill, but regardless. So, so good. Knocks off. Fine. Don't give a fuck. Secret Sword comes out. Brilliant's the sack. Which is, which is good. For me. Cool. Still does a shit ton though. So like, I don't get why he's running offensive Brilliant with the uh, Toxic Orb. That makes no sense. Only, only play for him is uh, is a Pidgeot here, so goes into Pidgeot, which is good. So we sack Feral Thorn and then go into uh, yeah, we sack Feral Thorn and go into Alex. Yeah, like definitely the, the, the definitely the play. So Hurricanes, nice, and uh, we're just gonna power whip here, get some damage off. Actually, we could, we should just like, hmm. maybe he U-turns into, if he U-turns, actually, if he U-turns into Bisharp, it's gonna put me in a very bad spot. I'm just gonna Thunder Wave here. Okay, that's fine. Now we go this thing. He traced Null Guard, which is the important part. If I, if, if I were him, I would stay in here. Because there's no reason to uh, to risk Bisharp, I feel like. Because Bisharp could win still, right? So, okay, let, let's say I focus pass, he stays in, he lives. We go into baby... Yeah, I think that's the play. We focus pass regardless. Sacks Heatran, fantastic. Now baby wins, I think. Because we guarantee hit this. And we stay in for sure, because, yeah, we stay in for sure. We are not going to let him SG open, go for some bullshit. Stay in for sure. Um, he can Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch, then we go Keldeo. Secret Curse Sword will pick up either Pidgeot or this thing. And if, uh, yeah, and we just win. Um, and whatever that happens afterwards, baby, baby will just kill, so. Unless he really gets like a sucker punch crit or some some random bullshit like that, then it, then it's a game. But there's no need to play any uh, any fucking games here. Just just click sucker punch. Like I'm not gonna switch, man. I'm not gonna let you get the SD up. Okay, does go for the right play here. Well, but these two same path, so not something to uh, to be too worried about. Right. 
Cool. Sucker punches. Hopefully he doesn't crit or something. That's nice. And uh, then, right now it's, uh, that's game then. Okay. So, well, we all know that he would have just lost this if I hit Oak's Blast the first time. And uh, this one would be over already. So, uh... But, uh, you know, some people just get lucky. And, uh... Sometimes you can overcome that luck with skill, and uh, other times... You can. But, this is game. Oh, GG's. Okay, so here we finally got another one. Um, I think this is the same guy, but with a different team. Uh, regardless, this is fine, I think. So uh, I'm just gonna record this one, and this will probably be the last one of the day. Anyways, Kelly is always the lead here, as he probably leads extra drill. Um, so we are just gonna scald, hopefully get a burn. Um, but rocks will go up, so that's definitely not very nice. I don't appreciate Fox at all, but not the worst. Um, yeah, Lone Child is a problem. Well, kind of a problem. Uh, Skizzler is also kind of a problem. Baby is also kind of a problem. And Serp is also kind of a problem. And Bishop too. Well, everyone's a problem then. But, uh, should be manageable. Not the best though. Rox, cool. Drill, okay, that's fine. Um. Probably go Serp now, right? Unless he maybe goes Launcha. If he goes Launcha, then it puts me in a really bad spot, I think. Because then I think I'm forced to stay in and just Scald. If I let him uh, sub and go for some SD bullshit, I'm pretty sure I would lose on the spot. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. Launcha is, is really bad. Right now. If he goes Launcha here... Ooh. Okay, go Serp. That is fine. That Serp is fine. Even though Serp is annoying and he can glare and go for some like random ass bullshit like that, it's better than Launcha. So I'm glad that he didn't spot it. Well, or maybe his Launcha just like not EV trained to outspeed my Kalio. So that's all. Maybe another one of his concerns, but glares. Fantastic. My uh, my favorite my favorite move here. Light screens. Ooh, light screen is. Mm. Fuck, that's not good. So, uh, ooh, this is not a good spot to be in. He finally gets the U-turn off. Good. Um, all right. We go this thing, all right. What is he gonna go to? It's either gonna be a Schizor or a Halancha. Ooh, I don't really like this. Yeah, I don't like this at all. But it's just fucking rapid spin. He glares me. Okay, fantastic. We are, we are okay with uh, with being glared, even at least in in this circumstance. If he went Halancha, if he went Halancha or Scissor, ooh, it's, <laughs> we're kind of fucked. Okay, I probably definitely need to put Whirlwind on on Baby XD then. There's too many games where if my opponent sets up, we are in a, like a disgustingly bad spot and it's like. Pretty much will lose a hundred percent of the time, but I don't know. Just glad that did not happen. Skizzer comes in. Ooh, this thing's not fun. Okay, so basically the play here is stall out the screens, and then we go into Caldeo and try and kill this thing. That is a play, even though it's not a. Uh, and I, I don't know. Heat really comes out. Ooh, actually, yo, yo, we, yo, maybe he doesn't, we, some, some Skizzers don't have Roost, and maybe this is one of them. If this Skizzers, if this Skizzer doesn't have Roost, then, uh, then, then this is good. If this Skizzer has Roost, and we get paralyzed, then this is really bad. So, uh, just, all depends. Okay, bullet punch, hopefully we get through, please, please get through. Stay the fuck up. Okay, good, this is good. But now, if Launcher comes in, it's still not- we're not out of the woods yet. We are not out of the woods. Alright. So... 
Right here. What is the play? I am thinking we go Alakazam. Alakazam is not all that valuable. Right, for one, that's the first thing. The second thing is... Oh shit, if this is weakness policy, uh... Baby. Ooh, that's also really bad. Okay, so we just need to hope that he is a weakness policy, baby. Like, he's probably gonna sub again, right? Yeah, he should sub again. I think I'd live this too. I might live in Acrobatics. I might. Okay, so he he gets his he doesn't get his unburden yet because he doesn't he isn't EV training his uh, Pokemon's right. Um, I think right is that why? Or maybe I don't know. He just keeps subbing. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. It makes no okay. Finally gets a Scissors Berry, and uh, Light Screen is fucking faint. Well, it's gone. Okay, fantastic. Don't need to worry about this Halancha anymore. Um, because he chooses to go for that. Because uh, right now, baby, baby would revenge kill successfully. We will die, but baby will come in and re and avenge uh, his uh, his partner. So this is good. This is good. So baby coming in, avenging his uh, his partner. The bad thing is a baby. The his baby is is gonna be bad. Um. Okay, I need to come up with better adjectives, but regardless, my point is, his baby comes in, we're in trouble. And, um, yeah. Okay, Serp, is he gonna glare everyone again? Whatever. Wait. We hit this. We hit this. Um, okay. Light screens? You know what, we go, uh, who do we go, baby, or not? Okay, you know what, this is probably like, he's gonna set up the old screens, right? Hopefully, well, hopefully not, but he's probably gonna set up the old screens. Okay. We can see if this guy has, uh, if this guy has taunt. Okay, he does have taunt. That's annoying, but we're gonna go hard, hard drill here because I don't think he's dumb enough to stay in and leaf storm a feral thorn. If he does that, then I'm gonna be like sad about society because his last move has to be leaf storm, right? Or am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy, but okay. Regardless, Bishop, Bishop is okay. We don't, we don't, we don't care about Bishop. We, uh, because because we also. Ooh, baby comes in. Oh no. Ooh, I don't like this then. Okay. Play is always go back to drill and hope we get through and hit a toxic. And if we don't, we uh, we, we forfeit. Okay. Such is the uh, such is the play plan. Okay. Shadow storms for no reason. Okay. Specs. Holy fuck! This is specs. Specs is good for me, and. Yeah. Good. Cool. We don't give a fuck then. I was worrying about nothing. Pretty much is what this means. Cool. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we just need to break at scale. So let's lead seed first and then go for Thunder Wave. No Serp. Alright. He's gonna taunt here. Yeah. He should taunt. If he doesn't taunt, he is a he's a weird man, you know? Yeah. Reflect also also gone. Fine. I mean all, all my all my mons are special attackers and mons. Okay. Wait, so he said screens, right? Yeah, okay. Do I trick? I think I trick. I think I, yeah, I think I trick. Let's trick. Yeah. Nice. You get a like- I get a like play, you get a choice card. You glare. Ooh, that's counterproductive. That is counterproductive. You know what, we're, we're, we're gonna- No, 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 no. We, we roost. We roost. We roost. Cool. 
Hopefully, uh, we freeze. But if not, we get the skill out. Ooh. Yo, this is Carmine, right? Yo, 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 yo. If this is Carmine, ooh, we are in a very bad spot. <laughs> we are in a very bad spot. Okay. Do not know why why he why he switched, but thanks, I guess. If that was Carmine, then we are we were fucked pretty badly. But thanks to some un unexplicable phenomenon, we are still in this. We are still in this. Um Alright. Cool. So who do we sack? We can sack this thing. Maybe. I think this thing could be the sack. Do we sack? Huh, who do we sack? Alright, let's think about this. If we sack this thing, who will be the problem? I think Baby will be a problem. This thing at least can Thunder Wave. But regardless, if he gets a combine up, we are fucked. I think, uh, I think we just need to see not a... Okay, actually, maybe we don't sack this now. Yeah, I don't think this is a sack now. Um, you know what, Tornadus? Uh, actually, do we sack Tornadus? Do we sack Baby? Actually, fuck, this is hard. Mm. Baby is pretty useless. Yeah. Uh, Tornadus is also pretty useless. Well, we sack Torn. I I have decided that Torn is more more useless. Ooh, goes for another SD. Uh, a bit greedy here. Light screen fades, good. But now who's the problem? Uh, can I even fucking can Kelly even fucking lift this? A plus three, a plus yeah. We can if he doesn't uh, crit. Okay, knock off. I think. Wait, wait, shit. I forgot. This is not life form. Life form. Ooh. Really tight. Really fucking tight. Alright, we should live this. We should fucking live this. If we don't, we're fucked. Yeah. If we don't, we're fucked. Sucker Punch comes out. Kelio. And what? Kelio? Uh, this is why Kelio is the best mod. This is why Kelio is the best mod in Oras, and I don't care about the new Oras way of fucking superior light streaming everything, and then thinking that you can just set up Volcarona and win. Don't give a fuck about that. Kelio's the best mod. Old Oras is the best. Don't know why I'm telling you this, but I am telling you this, and uh, that's uh, that's all there is to it. All right. We don't stay. Oh, Sur Sur just dies. You know, never worried. Never worried. Okay. Now why do you keep keep it then? Makes no sense. Well, he has to start combining, but I don't think he does. Okay, so this game, there's a lot of inexplicable plays. Okay, for some reason he doesn't start combining after tricking me, and for another reason, for some other reason, which I do not, which I cannot pinpoint, he kept that serp and uh, it kind of just died. Okay, well, so, uh, let's see. We are 348. Uh, we're first place right now. On the 5th day of February, so... I don't give a fuck what you say, but right now I'm topping the, uh, the PvP normal ranked ladder. We won, like, a lot of games straight. Okay? We are 72% GXE, well, not GXE, fucking win-loss ratio. And I don't give a fuck about what you say, even though this is disgustingly bad, and I know it. So, you know what, 4th day, sorry, 5th day of February, 348 rating, I consider that pretty good. So, uh, let's just end it for today, and uh, we'll see you guys next time, peace.